Jean from the Fox Mercantile. Just wanted to give a little bit of an update. I'm gonna go back and help Big Gav with the fireplace remodel, which I'm so excited about. Um, but first, I just wanted to share a couple of things. We are running a really big site-wide sale, up to 40% off. We're getting ready for fall and winter coming in. Um, so go check that out. This Sunday, uh, Brooke's coming in, actually Saturday, with her family. Um, but we are going to be rearranging the whole store, like the register, everything, the lighting on some of the spots, because we need more wall space. Um, so that's going to be really fun. And we're getting a permanent jewelry machine. So that's launching uh, next Thursday. Uh, we have worship nights coming up. The last, well, that's a whole nother thing. The last one we did was, the last two were so good during the break. Um, Godshot starts back up on September 6th. And what else? Yeah, we're going to be staying at the inn all week with our staff here and Lynn and Bry and Brooke, our COO of the company and her family. So it'll be really So Gav is here right now. Gav, we're going to demo. We're going to just basically take off the wood trim right here, take off the mantle, and I'm going to do something a little bit crazy. I am not putting a mantle on. I'm going to have no mantle. <gasps> no mantle? I know. I know. It's crazy. So as, as you saw in the inspo pic, there was some trim going around, like bordering the fireplace. I mean, sorry, bordering the brick. So uh, Gav picked this up for me today, sent me some options, and I just thought this would be really, really pretty to add some detail since it's going to be pretty straightforward with the vertical ship lap. And then it'll also go at the top and border the ceiling. You can do it! Oh, goodness. All right, ready? on the wall have two centers so you can either put you find center you could either put a board on either side of that center line or you could put a board in the middle of that center line and then from there you see these marks on the wall you space it out so you take another piece and you mark it all the way over to the wall to see if you like that spacing and that reveal on the other side and if not then you can try your other center meaning put it right in the middle and then try it again until you get a reveal that you like on both sides. I'm gonna we'll keep it low key. Low key, post it with the ones that know me. Know me, I wake up and read the sun. Keep on shining till I'm done, so I'm never really. Looking so good. I, we were, Gavin, I were just standing back here at the door, just seeing how grand it looks. It's funny, it's like the one piece of wall in here that wasn't ship lapped in here but um, it kind of just needed to be to tie it all together. It just always was a little flat looking and it feels like it came out of the wall now. So everything just is so satisfying, so many straight lines. Uh, about to finish up here with the end pieces and he's just using the um, nail gun to put these in. Then I'll just be caulking and cleaning up and then we'll put those border pieces around the opening. And then we decided to, we're gonna take off this cord around trim piece here so that we can put just a nice flat cover piece. Then the trim will come all the way to the end and just be like a really clean finish off on it around. I did on a different piece of trim piece. Um, Gav went today to go get one more thing and we, he just was like, you know what, maybe we should try, just try a different one. We put this one up I did really love this and I love the detailing and I think I was telling my I think it'll be cool once it's painted it'll really pop um, it's hard to kind of see the details when it's not painted but what I loved when we put this one up was that this one has so much oh she's that's dirty I was like I thought it was just discoloration of the wood <laughs> it has just a lot of detail and like depth with it so when it's up it because the ship lap is so flat it adds some dimension that I like a lot more so we're gonna go with that guy instead I 
am so stoked on the progress. Look how dirty all the shiplap is. Let's just leave it. This looks good. Um, I love the way this looks. And you know, I'm just gonna do everything step by step. I'm having a hard time of like, putting everything together in my head with this not done yet, but I'm really trying my best to just visualize everything. So I know for sure that I want this black. All the inspo pictures that I've loved, the inside has been black. So I'm gonna start there and then make my next decision. here so as you can see I'm and you can kind of tell I literally am taking it one section at a time I first started with this outside area and then I was like okay for sure I need to do this part right here and then I was like I definitely want those black then I wouldn't realize I want this black I know I want that black for sure I wasn't sure about the bottom but I'm very glad I did that black this is one part that I'm not sure if I want to do all black or if I want to leave with that cream color right now I'm kind of loving it and I might even leave this center until I do the whole outside and then decide on that. Um, that's one of the perks of doing things for yourself is that you can make up your mind as you go.